Secretary Sobe. He started uh, her career as a conventional red crop breeder. As of now, she has more than 30 model and crop species on which she has been targeting to work, including strawberry, sweet potato, and other crops. And her this presentation is towards challenges to genomics, genetic analysis, and molecular breeding in yellow octoploid species, strawberry. Dr. Uh, good morning, and uh, first I say thank you, Rajiv, and uh, Igrisato members uh, uh, giving me this opportunity and also your kind of hospitality. So I remember um, when I met Rajiv first time, it was uh, 10 years ago, and uh, I knew his name by literature, so I thought, Rajiv, oh, you are Rajiv Bajune. And Rajiv told me, oh, you think I'm young, than, younger than you expect. So, uh, so Rajiv, uh, both we are still young, but <laughs> uh, you and the Christian people uh, have done uh, amazing work during uh, these 10 years, so congratulations. Uh, today's my talk, so because this session I know, know uh, more reading session, so I change up my topic a bit uh, from uh, genome sequences to uh, more breeding side. So now um, we um, uh, established uh, strawberry uh, reference genomes, and by using this, uh, we are doing uh, genomic selection with a whole breeding station in Japan. So first, I uh, speak a bit about the strawberry. So strawberry is an uh, octoploid species, and the estimated genome size is, uh, one C is uh, approximately 800 megabases. So it also, uh, um, it has a sheet here. But in uh, uh, agriculture purpose, uh, it's uh, doing uh, coronal propagations. So strawberry, uh, it was uh, introduced from Europe to Japan in uh, the rate of, uh, not 20th 20, century, it was a mistake, it's a uh, uh, 90 centuries. And uh, um, breeding strategy, it is very simple. Uh, so they just uh, cross to parent line and choose best F1 line, and propagate a coronary and investigate uh, those uh, performance, and then uh, it becomes uh, new varieties. So uh, crossing is uh, doing only one time. That's why, for example, uh, our breeding, uh, reading variety, Tochi Otome, uh, it just uh, did uh, seven times uh, crossing from its uh, original uh, ancestors. So it means there is a very sure uh, crossing uh, chance in strawberry uh, breeding. And in Japan, actually there is a secret war. So we have more than 30 public and private uh, breeding station, and we fight each other to breed good strawberries. So now we have a lot of uh, uh, Japanese uh, strawberry varieties, but somehow uh, we consume all, most of our strawberry uh, production in Japan. We just export less than 1%. That's why this uh, breeding is only for Japanese customers. So it means that our breeding target is one, high quality, second, high quality, and third is high quality. <laughs> so what we achieve now is we have these, oh sorry, we have these uh, strawberries, which is, for example, one fruit, it's 28,000 rupees. It's stupid. And also which we achieve as identically it's like Galapagos Island. So uh, it means uh, no more super variety, uh, which uh, 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 it is difficult to uh, breed um, good varieties 
by using only a conventional breeding materials because our, jump, uh, our breeding material is so, uh, genetic diversity is so uh, narrow. So what we need now, I hope this world important person agree me, the most important things is diversification and mix. <laughs> Thank you very much. So for this eat, the conventional breeding is just doing one cross. So it's not good. That's why we propose to do in genomic selection by using a recurrent selection with uh, uh, genome selection approaches. So now, based on these ideas, we stop the war. So genome uh, uh, give us a piece, and under these ideas, uh, we make a piece, and we uh, start to uh, uh, work together for uh, establishing a genomic selection method for uh, fruit uh, film and fruit hardness with these four breeding uh, stations. And for starting genomic selection, uh, we discuss what kind of population is um, uh, good. And before doing this job, I actually do a red clover work uh, for uh, my Indian colleagues, Jack Sharma, and also uh, colleagues in Russia and Switzerland, and found a magic population is good because it has a more genetic diversity than uh, biparental populations. Also, uh, LD is a relatively uh, longer, so you don't need very uh, uh, dense uh, markers. So uh, we ask to uh, strawberry breeders uh, to make uh, populations same styles. And uh, magic population was uh, developed in each breeding stations uh, come from uh, sh uh, six elite lines. And even though uh, it's come from six elite lines, when we shuffling the genomes, you can see a very diverse uh, genome, uh, phenotype variations in these populations. So this is a population which we used. And next question is uh, the number of plants. Ideally, uh, if we have 1,000 plants, it's very good. However, the uh, field of each breeding station is not so big. So reality, uh, in reality, they can handle only 100. So that's why uh, we just doing, uh, uh, we are uh, considering to make a combination of field selection and also seedling selection. So uh, field selection, we just can use 100 uh, plants, but for seedling selections, we can use more plant species, even though our uh, breeding field is not so big. So this is a breeding strategy. We do this in one year cycle. So uh, for example, uh, in uh, April, we do crossing, then uh, sowing a seed in May, and during January to August, we do genotype shindlings. And the selected plants is transplanting in September, and during the growing seasons, uh, we investigate the phenotype. At the same time, uh, those uh, plants were genotyped, and based on this, a GS model was established. Then, uh, good plants is uh, selected, not only model, but also phenotype as well. And then selected parents was crossing again, and the seed was sowing, and then a genotype was selected based on only a genotype, uh, genomic, uh, genotype uh, genomic selection models. So it is a cycle of breeding strategy. And we can uh, select uh, good uh, plants uh, based on 1,000 individuals. In seedling, also uh, we select uh, parental candidates based on 100 individuals in our field. 
And then next question is what type of marker we should need. So uh, genomic selection require genome-wide genotype. So maybe RADSEQ or GBS, good. So uh, the, if the cost of a GBS or RADSEQ so, um, is a tender US dollars per plant, it's okay for a small number of plants. But if it's coming to uh, uh, many plants, thousand plants, it's becoming a uh, uh, a uh, bit uh, expensive. It's acceptable, but a uh, bit expensive for some of our breeders. And also, we do a sampling and DNA extraction for genotyping. And for seedling selections, we just have uh, two months. So it may be possible, but sometimes difficult. And also, uh, some pre pre preparation, it needs some cost. So, um, whole genome genotyping, it's possible, but uh, still large work for a conventional breeders level. So, our next question is do we really need genome wide genotypes? So then uh, we uh, discussed with uh, uh, Dr. Nakaya in Osaka University. And uh, so this is a general uh, model of um, uh, multiple, uh, multiple regression model in genomic, uh, genomic selections. So uh, in these models, as many of you know, uh, you can investigate uh, uh, breeding values based on genome-wide uh, DNA marker data. But question is, can we reduce the number of markers? And can we change to more simple questions? Because in breeding, breeder just choose only good, well, not one. So the target is divided, only selected and not selected. So we didn't need uh, sequences uh, values. The most important thing is we just divide the populations, selected or non-selected. So that's why uh, we, uh, he established eggs uh, approaches, which are based on uh, machinery uh, running, boosting. Uh, don't ask me the details. Uh, but anyway, uh, this is uh, um, methodologies. And it also uh, was already uh, established, established in our previous work in red clovers. So we decided to use this uh, method for genomic selections. And for uh, genome sequences, I don't uh, talk uh, today for details, but we uh, established uh, 62 pseudomolecules based on Illumina data and uh, the magic assemblies. Uh, uh, this is uh, assembly data. Uh, we get uh, 32,000 uh, sequences, and a part of sequences was aligned uh, based on a dense uh, linkage map of strawberries. So finally, we got uh, these pseudomolecules. And by using this, uh, we uh, designed the uh, primers and doing the uh, 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 genotyping. So this is a bit many uh, data, but uh, this is the actual uh, selection process. So we have each four um, breeding stations. So three stations is we make a magic population from a six parent population. So initial, the number of initial parents is six, but in uh, one station is using more diverse uh, uh, parental lines. Anyway, and this is the original number of ancestors, and this is the number of first generation, initial generations. And from this number, of, uh, population was uh, genotyped uh, based on SSR markers, because at the time, we don't have a reference sequence, we only have SSR markers. So we did SSR genotyping, and then, uh, 11 to 5, uh, 54 parents was uh, selected based on phenotype and plus model. And then uh, selected seedlings was uh, genotyped 
then uh, go to uh, some of our uh, plants was go to the field and uh, genotyping again. And from these cases, uh, we start to use it both SSR and SNP markers. And then um, selected plants was go uh, crossed, then go to uh, uh, next uh, selection. So now we finish uh, uh, two generations. And uh, because the uh, uh, initial parent lines is different uh, between the um, uh, different uh, breeding stations, uh, that's why the model is uh, different uh, in each population. So uh, this is a position of markers used for our selections. So uh, each uh, perfect, uh, we mapped the uh, uh, used marker positions on the genome of a strawberry, strawberries. And uh, it's, uh, uh, some of markers uh, spread it randomly in the genomes, but there's uh, some clusters. Also, we found the, uh, that uh, in near clusters, there's a candidate genes related to the uh, uh, hardness in fruits. And uh, this is a result, uh, one of the example of uh, accumulation of target areas and uh, trait distributions. So um, first generations, the, uh, this is an uh, uh, index of uh, fruit hardness, and uh, this is a distribution, and it's becoming more harder and harder. Also, uh, target arrays, frequency becoming higher. And this is a result of a selection of, uh, so uh, when, um, Okay, so in this uh, genomic selection was done uh, with uh, four different breeding stations. And each breeding station has their own idea. And uh, uh, we discuss a lot and decide uh, we don't to go same way. Uh, so each, I told them, please go to, uh, go to uh, select with what you want. So for example, in a Fukuoka prefecture, they have, oh, sorry, they have, um, they have a target line and they want to uh, make a variety uh, to, to similar uh, traits to a target line. So their selection idea is just go to a target line. Also, um, they uh, want to select not only fruit hardness, but also uh, with other traits, for example, flowering time and fruit size and taste. So during the uh, selections, the uh, diversity of uh, film hardness and fresh hardness, it's uh, more narrow to uh, target lines. And then uh, we select some candidate lines for um, uh, new varieties. Also, in the case of Chiba prefectures, uh, they don't care uh, about the taste or fruit size. They just want to go hard one. So uh, it's a selection for two extreme. So what they are made, these selections, the fruit is like this. So fruit size becoming very small. And the taste is actually not strawberry anymore. It's something like between apple and strawberry. But anyway, uh, they can uh, select very hard fruits from the original uh, populations. So this is a result uh, which we did. And we already did a uh, uh, selection for two generations. However, we still have many issues uh, to use this method in uh, uh, practical, practical breeding. For example, cost is still expensive. And uh, next issue is a uh, balance of uh, when we uh, select the uh, multiple traits because uh, our mapping, uh, their mapping population is not so big, so there is no uh, many plants which have uh, 
perfect, uh, which having a perfect uh, target areas in one line. That's why the balance is very, uh, 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 that's why uh, this decision which line, uh, which plants we choose is very uh, difficult sometimes. And also marker system, uh, we use SSR and SNPs, but uh, SNPs uh, marker system is still not uh, perfect because uh, strawberry is uh, octoploides. And also, um, now we just uh, think about uh, single point uh, genotype by uh, SSR or SNPs, but uh, especially for um, polyploid species, uh, we discuss we should a uh, more haplotype basis. So uh, we should check uh, what uh, the uh, material changed uh, uh, in haplotype segmentations. And uh, next issue is it's it's for uh, only a strawberry cases, but uh, we because to uh, doing many crossing uh, uh, because to increase uh, many crossing opportunities. I asked to them uh, one year cycle, but actually uh, strawberry, uh, they do uh, clonal propagations. So sometimes the phenotype is different from seedling or uh, from vegetative propagations. So we should uh, do comparisons. And uh, also, um, we know, uh, so this uh, experiment uh, starts uh, parallelly, uh, model uh, establishing and uh, establishing uh, uh, marker systems. So uh, model is sometimes not perfect. So we choose uh, uh, based on both model and phenotypes, and we don't know uh, the, what affect models to selections. So we should uh, investigate uh, from now on. Anyway, uh, thank you for your attention. So this is uh, our colleagues uh, for breeding station from Chiba Prefecture, Tochigi Prefecture, uh, Fukuoka Prefecture, and Naro, and our uh, KDRI colleagues. Also uh, for uh, statistics, uh, Osaka University, Nakaya Kihiro, and for uh, genome uh, sequencing, Kagawa, we also collaborate with it's Kagawa University, and it was funded by uh, three uh, organizations. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Dr. Sobe, for introducing us to strawberry breed in Japan, and also showing us the effectiveness of uh, the genomic selection using a smaller number of markers and making the gain for the firmness in strawberry. Questions for? <laughs> Dr. Isobe. Uh, one, one question regarding uh, your uh, model that you mentioned at the end. How is the octoploid nature of the species reflected in the model that you use for genomic selection? Yes. Um, actually, um, we just started this, and we should... Um, Consider more who, how octoploid uh, uh, should be, but uh, at this just moment uh, we didn't uh, think about it. So we just select um, uh, subgenome specific markers, and uh, that represent each different subgenomes. So, but maybe uh, if we consider a haplotype basis. We may uh, think more about what polyploid do. So, thank you for your question, and it is the same as my question that I should think about it. Okay, no more. Thank you, Dr. Thank Sobe. You. Thank you.